You guys are idiots at United. <laughs> How you put my dog on the wrong flight? I need answers. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most cyclical show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my eco-conscious co-host, Graydon. I'm just as good as I've always been. <laughs> Today we're digging into the pasts of famous people. This is Guess, Guess the, the Rapper, rapper from, from the Weird Tweet. This is how it's gonna work. We're gonna read a weird tweet. We're not gonna know who tweeted it. It's gonna be a rapper. We're gonna get four choices, and we're gonna have to guess from that multiple choice who tweeted it. Wow, you nailed that. That was a really good explanation. And how many you points do we get? Uh, one for each one that we get right. That makes sense to me. <laughs> it's me versus Graydon. I'm me, and that's Graydon. Uh, oh, <laughs> I think I'm me today. I don't know. I feel really weird. <laughs> All right, before we get into it, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. HiveMindTV.com. Join our Patreon. Link in description. $5 a month. You get a bunch of extra content. And every Friday, we stream and react to your music. Tune in then. It's honestly one of the most lit parts of our channel. So if you like getting lit, come check us out. <laughs> and last thing before we get into it, this video is brought to you by OK, okay Drugs. Drugs. CBD peach eatables. We'll talk about them a little bit more later in the video. Thank you, OK Drugs. Thank you. Can I hit it off the table? Uh, hit this one because it's open. Let's go. First weird tweet. Ooh. Strange, peculiar tweet. <laughs> Twilight Zone? I've heard of it. You unwavy creature. <laughs> So, you unwavy creature, and it's from 2012. All right, let's see our multiple choice here. Pretty early on wavy. I think we got two blanks on top. Burn two? Right. I, that's Texas Hold'em, right? Nice. Okay, uh, we got A, Drake, B, French Montana, C, Jay-Z, and D, 50 Cent. Ooh. People were still saying wavy in 2012. Yeah, wasn't that Max B's thing? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Wavy. Yeah. He would always say wavy, so... I remember uh, when I was in England, everybody was saying that a lot. Wavy. When they'd talk about an American, they'd be like, oh, that American rapper, he's so wavy. Wavy, the baby. Ameri <laughs> the American rappers are so wavy. Daddy wasn't there. <laughs> Sorry. Three, two, one, I went with B, French Montana. I also went with the Montana French. B, French Montana. Easy. Ooh, yeah, that was easy. It's the Max B reason. connection, you know? Yeah. All right, uh, one to one. I mean, honestly, 50 Cent, it just couldn't be him because there's so many weirder tweets than this. <laughs> <laughs> he has he said some unthinkable things on Twitter. <laughs> Unredeemable acts on Twitter. Yeah, I think it's irredeemable. Yeah, it's whatever though. <laughs> at least that way they tell me about my uh, all my gift cards at Buffalo Wild Wings. So, <laughs> sir, <laughs> oh, sir, this is from 2013. <laughs> it's irredeemable. You're living in the parking lot. Well, you don't need gift cards for the stuff they put in the dumpster at the end of the night, you know. All right, weird tweet number two. I'm gonna read this one. All right, I just like Kendrick's speech impediment. That is a weird tweet. You just like it. I That's the like only it. reason you're a fan. <laughs> does I he just even have like, a speech impediment? I don't know. I don't think he does. Nothing that I can really pick up on. He maybe like a bit of a lisp, maybe? Maybe. It's always know. enunciated his words pretty clearly. Yeah. Uh, from 2012 as well. A lot of 2012 yeah. tweets. It was a weird year. Everybody thought the world was going to end, so they were kind of letting them fly. Let oh, Twitter. better get this one out. <laughs> Four options are A, Absol, B, J, Rock, C, Reason, and D, Isaiah Rashad. So they're all TDE members. Yeah saying something about Kendrick that is very weird to say. Three, two, and one. I went with D, Isaiah Rashad. Me too. D, Isaiah Rashad. Nice, because that's before that? he was in TDE. Yes, exactly. Is that why it's weird? Yep. Yeah. That's interesting. I know there's been some stuff like that before where you'll kind of say something weird about somebody then you end up working with them. Yeah. I think about that on Twitter sometimes. Oh, yeah. Specifically my little Zan and Jumex tweets. I feel, I felt that about Michael Sarah for a little bit, and then I just looked at a picture of him, and I was so filled with rage and hate and uh -huh. anger again that I realized it was justified, and someone needs to put him in his place. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I wish you'd tweet more about Michael Sarah so I'd know why exactly you hate him so much. You just kind of talk about how you hate him, <laughs> and then you don't say why. You just are like, oh, he's so... Oh, <laughs> trust me, I'm working on a dossier. <laughs> He'll be on your desk come Monday. <laughs> That'll be a good read, honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah, it will be. <laughs> Woo! Sorry. You just got me so worked up. Michael Sarah McLaughlin? Mm -hmm. um, how dare you take such an angel like Sarah and Flash her with a In demon. The of an angel. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Jesus. Save <laughs> those hamsters or whatever she's doing. Next one. I'm reading this one. Whoa! <laughs> you about laid one on me there. <laughs> Walmart employees be so nosy. Like, yes, I'm stealing. Damn, what do you want? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, no, so this is funny. from uh, 2018. Uh-huh. Good amount of attention. It was also at 10.07 p.m. Great tweet time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got A, Lil Nas X, B, TJX6, C, Thousand Band Fawny, D, Tom McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> if this was Tom, I'd have a newfound respect for him. Yeah, this would be my favorite thing about Tom yeah. McDonald. Okay. Three, two, one. A, Lil Nas X. I went with B, TJ. A, Lil Nas X. Yes. Wow. How'd you get it? I was going to say, TJ's a little too on the nose. Yeah. There's a stealing tweet. People are going to put TJ as an option. That's true. And Lil Nas X is just funny. funny. That caters to a huge amount of people because stealing from Walmart is like the number one place you steal from. Have you ever stolen from Walmart? You can... No. It's beyond statute of limitations. Not if it was last week. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I used to steal a hell of golf balls. Really? Yeah, I'd take the expensive ones and I'd put them in the cheap ones box. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and literally just walk out, like with a noodle box and I'd have expensive balls. Wow, you really know about and care about the quality of golf balls enough to do an exchange in yeah. the aisle. It's like a $40 savings. It was a big deal. Wow, there are some real trash golf balls out there. Apparently. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. That's weird. Like horse hair, pretty much, is what's <laughs> on the inside of them. Like old rocks. <laughs> and they're like, here you go, yes. Weird tweet number four, my turn to read it. Come I, on. I will say, uh, I'm having a perfect game so far. Yes, you are. And I think even when you get them wrong, you're always having a perfect game in my heart. <laughs> Cause you're my buddy. <laughs> this one says, I'm watching my son play baseball and he's in the field adjusting his hat, spitting and grabbing his dick. I'm so proud, it's crazy. Okay, now this is a weird tweet. This is actually a weird tweet. Uh, <laughs> the, other ones, the other ones have been... Weird like, in context. Know, whatever, but this one is weird. This one's weird. And I love it. Our options are A, Ludacris, B, Action Bronson, C, The Game, D, Wiz Khalifa. <sighs> wow. Any of these dudes could have said it. I gotta think about who's got kids, man. Everyone's got kids, that's a thing. I checked. I would not be proud if my son was out there doing that. I'd be like, Psh. eyes on the wall. <laughs> Can of corn, kid. Here we go. You're <laughs> a disappointment, that's what I'd be saying. <laughs> You're the reason me and your mom split up. <laughs> you! <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. I went with the game. I See? went with A, Luda! <laughs> B, Action Bronson. Hey. Ah, I thought that was too on the nose for something he would say. It sounded like something Luda would say. Oh, you want to hear a good story about me playing baseball? Yeah, yeah. One time I was at third base, which mm -hmm. is not my normal position. Tough place to play. Right. And I'm in the field just waiting for them to pitch. And all of a sudden I hear the crowd start to be like, yo, 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 like that. Just got domed by a ball from the other field. Other field. Hit me directly in the top of the head and just was laying on the ground, my head ringing and everybody standing over me when I woke up. That's oh kind gosh. of like a microcosm of basically your whole entire school sports experience. It really was. Yeah. I like, I had so, I have tons of injury <laughs> stories and zero stories about me doing anything Scoring. worthwhile. <laughs> like in football, I never touched the ball once in a game and I got three injuries all in practice. I was like literally the tackling dummy for everybody. I hyperextended my arm, got a concussion, everything. I was the clown. It's crazy that you were on so much steroids back the back then too, and it didn't help. All it did was make me angry. I was still small. <laughs> <laughs> Weird tweet number five. At the Apple Store in Toronto, watching porn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ugh, in 2014. All right. Tory Lanez, Jack Harlow, Quavo, and Travis Scott. Bunch of suspects here. Yeah, we got Tory Lanez, Toronto native. Is this a crime, by the way? <laughs> Can you watch porn in public? Like, if you were out, like, just watching porn in the mall, you don't think they'd kick you out? I think that the cops at the library would be much more active if this was a crime. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are always sleepy. <laughs> Three, two, one. D, Travis Scott. D, Travis Scott. D, Travis Scott. Okay, uh, I remember this tweet, that's why. But I was trying not to know so mm. that I didn't throw it off to you. Nice. Because I thought maybe you'd pick Tory Lanez. I thought about it, trust me, right. but he would tweet something even worse. About to have sex in this Cracker Barrel or something like that, and you'd be like, great, Tory, great. Or he'd be like, check out my new song. Sorry. <laughs> mean tweet number six. It's me. Anyone who ever says that I look like Drake needs to have their eyes pissed on by an albino sea lion. 
the very rare and very elusive albino sea lion, whose piss stings a little extra due to its lack of pigment. Is that true? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were just like, I don't know. It's just no, sort of nature it's expert. Stingy piss. You seem like, you watch all that weird stuff when yeah. you're smoking weed, so mm-hmm. I thought maybe you watched like an yeah, episode but, recently whoa. and you were like, wow, that is weird that there are people sting extra. <laughs> Our options are... A. McConan, B. Little Yachty, and C. Nas, not Nas X, uh, D. Rich no. the Kid. <laughs> it's just Nas, it's not just Nas. Nas. <laughs> All right, and I Rich know the kid. kids might not know who Nas is, but. <laughs> Three, two, one. A. McConan. C. Nas. A. McConan. Dang. I just went for the most unlikely one. I was like, what is Nas doing in here? You know what? I remember when McConan first got signed to OVO, he was doing interviews and they asked him if Drake cared about his weird tweets about him. They asked him, they're like, did did that ever come up? And he was like, he knew it was just Twitter, like it's not a big deal. Yeah. He tweeted a bunch of really negative stuff about Drake That's interesting. Like, before he signed to OVO. So, and we see how that turned out. Joke's on him. <laughs> Shout out McConan though, McConan's a legend. Yeah, still out here. In the Biddy, one of my favorite songs ever. Mm, weird Tweets number seven. Got Your it. Your time to read it. No, didn't I just read that last one? Yeah. My turn to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making fun of me, it's hashtag illegal. <laughs> I'm just got off the phone with my lawyer. Wow. Hashtag illegal. Hashtag illegal. <laughs> wow, and this is A, Bones, B, Blade, C, Young Lean, and D, Trippy Red. From 2017. Wow. This, I remember this tweet, but I do not remember who tweeted it. So you can watch porn in the Apple Store, but you can't make fun of whoever this is. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? <laughs> Three, two, one. I went with Blade. I went with C, Young Lane. B, Blade. Yes. Nice. You're on one, dude. You have these Twitter instincts. That I love I Twitter. Have. I love Twitter and I love tweeting. And you should uh, check fo- me out on follow the me on Twitter. Weird tweets number eight. Uh, it looks to be a response to a Kim Kardashian tweet. We okay, don't know who it's by though? The Kim tweet says, "Glamming for Emmys. Do you guys think makeup by Mario should try a pretty blue eye?" That sounds enticing to me. And the response is, "Hey, it's God, and I want butt." <laughs> so <laughs> this is 2009. Wow. Oh my gosh. And Twitter looks weird. Already. Yeah, it does. This is it's hard for me to decipher what was even going on. A, Kanye. B, Soldier Boy. C, Lil B. D, Chief Keef. This is like a historical landmark, I can tell. And mm. I'm, I'm sad that I don't know who it is because I'm sure that everybody knows. Three, two, one. C, Lil B. Same. C, Lil B. Yes. Oh. It's God. Base God. Yeah. So that helps. It definitely could have been Kanye <laughs> because he always says he's a God and all that, but I think that <laughs> this would have been too far along in it's the like whole... It's like pink polo Kanye era, too. And like, that was like Amber Rose era, yeah. so I don't think he would have tweeted that. Yeah. Lil B, though, I don't know if he's ever been tied down. He's too busy scrolling through feet pics. Yep. All day. Can't blame him. Full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Today's video is sponsored by... OK, okay Drugs. Drugs! CBD Peach Eatables. And then and the best testament we can give to you of why they're so good is they gave us four bags of them and told us to keep two of them unopened to uh-huh. show in these ads, and one of them we opened anyway. And didn't even, like, get the tear right. It was one mm-hmm. of those, like, gnaw yeah, into it. we just had to rip do it. it and ruin the seal. Ripped it with our teeth because they're just so good and we needed some more of them. They're so delicious. Mm-hmm. And I know we've said it a lot of times, but these are non-psychoactive. They're vegan. Vegan. So for your vegans out there, you can have these. No meat in them. It's unbelievable. Most gummies are covered in meat. Yeah, they're usually burgers. (laughs) These are peach eatable, delicious little gummies. Like we said, non-psychoactive. And like OK Drug says, check in. Chew up and tune out. That's that's what they say. And that's a great little catchphrase. Especially when you really need to tune out. And you guys can let us know what you feel when you take them, when you go over to the website and use code HIVEMIND. 20% off. How do you spell it? H-I-V-E-M-I-N-D. HIVEMIND. You're good at that. Yeah. That's sweet. (laughs) Uh, Link in description. Go to their website and purchase them for yourself. CBD peach eatables from OK Drugs. (laughs) Thank you. We love you, OK Drugs. (laughs) Like, romantically, we love you. Marry us! All right, back to the video. Come on, check us out. We're over there. (laughs) Here we go. Uh, (laughs) Soap in my dick and it burns like fuck. Wow. This is from 2012. Let's Mm -hmm. see who it is. A, Tyler. B, Post Malone. C, Mac Miller. D, Hobson. (laughs) 
<laughs> but God. believe it if it was in quotes. I wish it was, was like Hobson. from a song. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe Hobson did say it this. It might be Hobson. I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, one. A, Tyler. C, Mac. A, Tyler. Nice. Oh, uh, the, the nail on the nose there. It's the capitals at the beginning of all of it, too. Uh, you know what I mean? He always see, tweets in that style. Twitter lore. You ever tweeted something you really like? wish you could take back? No, they're all bangers. Oh, hell yeah. On my Twitter. That's cool. Which, once again, uh, follow the Twitter. All right, next one. Yeah, <laughs> next one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is incredible. Is still up having tantric sex 12 hours and counting. Let's go, people. You can do it. Just relax. <laughs> LOL. Wow. Dude, tantric sex. Uh, oh this, my God. this is like the old school way too, like when your tweet is like responding to the prompt. It's like, it's like what's what happening? You, yeah, what are you doing right now? Or what's happening? Or I'm still up. <laughs> you think that your name is coming before it. It's yes. like Facebook. Yes. <laughs> you know? What'd you do today? It's like this person's name is heaven. <laughs> um, options are A, Diddy, B, Snoop Dogg, C, Ice T, D, Master P. Okay. Oh my god. We got some old heads here who were getting. Down. Absolutely freaky. Woo! I love the idea of just like being exhausted. <laughs> well, I don't think you get exhausted. And that's the thing. With it's it. like very slow. Like the whole tantric is like, doesn't it just mean like slow? I don't know, 12 hours and counting and all the exclamation points. I just got like just an energetic. Like, That's how you do it? Yeah, it's like that. Ooh, yeah. that is hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> Three, two, one. I want C, Ice T. I went with D, Master P. A, Diddy. Oh, that was my second guess. That's so funny that Diddy said it. He's the. He's famous. a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> He's a billionaire and he tweeted that. <laughs> There's still hope for us. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Not to have tantric sex, but maybe to be, make a billion bucks. Right. Uh, next tweet. <laughs> I love Earl Sweatshirt. I want to have his kids. From kind 2018. Of a, kind of a natural progression of things there. Yeah. You like someone's music, you want to bear their children. <laughs> a, Tyler the Creator. B, SZA. C, Billie Eilish. D, Earl Sweatshirt. 2018. Uh, let's see if I can see any of the profile pictures who liked it on this one. Not recognizing any of them. Last one, Loki looks like me. That's weird. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. You see this? Ah, he doesn't let me do it. This one over here, though. How does that look like you? It just has a neon beanie and some eyebrows, which I have both those things. <laughs> you call those eyebrows? <laughs> Mine? I have great eyebrows. Drawn on. They are not drawn on. Yes, they are. I will I... defend that. Here we go. Let's test it. See? <laughs> Three, two, one. I went with C, Billie Eilish. I went with D, Earl Sweatshirt. C, Billie Eilish. Wow. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, she was like a 17-year-old <laughs> yeah. tweeting that she wanted to have Earl's kids, yeah. bro. That's messed oh up. Oh, my gosh. Nine to four. Yeah, I don't even like that you got that last point, but... I didn't want to guess it for that exact reason, but I was going to guess Earl. But I did, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Hey, you're smarter than me. You reign the king of Twitter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> In all his royalness, in all his majesty. Isn't there a one? We that song. Oh, is there one more? There's one more. No, I know. Yeah, there is one more, but you can still do a ceremony. <laughs> Sir, yeah, you yeah. interrupted my song. Let's go back to it. The king of Twitter. He has traveled from many leagues away. He brings with him gifts of magnificent magnitude. Offering these, he gives us I can't go the life of his firstborn son. Wow, thank you, King of Twitter. Oh. I've never been in the presence of royalty. <laughs> Am I worthy? Uh, I'll think about it. Okay. Squire. I can dance. All Just right. keep that in mind. Last one. You guys are idiots at United. <laughs> How you put my dog on the wrong flight? I need answers. <laughs> Options are Schoolboy Q, Cardi B, A Boogie, and Vince Staples. Wow, Vince Staples, an amazing tweeter. I think I remember this tweet though. I bet. It helps to be on Twitter to play this fucking game. And <laughs> if you aren't on Twitter, you're gonna lose this game. 
<laughs> I love all your little ditties you're doing today. You know Diddy's into tantric sex? <laughs> I heard that, actually. I heard That's he's cool. got some long sessions under his belt. Remember, life's a cycle. Uh-huh. It's a loop. <laughs> yep. all I've right. been here before. Three, two, one. A, Schoolboy Q. B, Cardi B. A, Schoolboy Q. I remember it. You are an animal. Thanks, man. <laughs> nice game. Thanks, dude. Ten points. Ten points? How many were there? Twelve? Twelve. That's Jeez, like a Wilt Chamberlain-like type performance. Like here, hold on. Remember the old photo of Will holding up the hundred? Oh, Just hold yeah. Hold it up for him, and how was how was he posed? He's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Like he kind of looked just like Will Chamberlain. We'll put it on the screen. Yeah, put Will right next to him. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll put uh, actually real quick. We're gonna uh-huh. also cut to Will from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends as well. I don't know if he does that in the in the show, but I like him. He's tall and red. <laughs> yeah. Cool. He could score a lot of baskets, probably. Yeah. All right, before we depart, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning of the video. Join our Patreon, only $5 a month. Graydon, would you like to leave our wonderful viewers with some advice to live their life by? Yeah. Quit putting it off. Whatever it is, just do it. Right now. Just go do it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's super <laughs> motivational. <laughs> all right, thank you. This has been High Mind TV. We'll see you in the next one. We love you. We appreciate you. And also, we salute you. Eddie, soldiers.